He's never hit above 290. Consistent. He's never hit less than 10, and he's never hit more than 31. Excuse me, 32. (laughs) He hit 32 last year. So, again, I don't look... What what did change? The point to this, what did change? Is hitting at number four. He got a lot more RBIs last year. He had 30 more RBIs than his previous career high. He had 109 of them last year. And he had his highest runs total at 91 last year. As an eighth rounder, I I, I just think this is a guy that you really can depend on Giving you stats where you need them. So so you know what you're getting with this guy. He's consistent. <clears throat> Eloy Jimenez, Malpal, next. He's a tough guy to gauge. The selling point with Eloy, he stands to benefit from another year of seasoning. He stands to benefit from an infused talent With names like Mazzara and Encarnacion. The great Leonard Melnick is on record as saying this guy will be a first round pick next season. I agree with that. So, he's a career 300 hitter in the minors. He hit 267 last year as a 22 year old. I see no reason to think he can't have a significant increase in his batting average. All he has to do with his homers is maintain the 31. I think he goes up considerably, approaches 40 this year. Our runs and RBIs both go up 69 and 79. He's never going to be an, a, 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 a contributor in the run game. But his other numbers will allow that. I love Elo Jimenez. Mount Powell, to your point, I probably have him too low. End of the sixth round is where he's currently going. Probably need to boot, move him up. Two more guys I'm going to jump off of here. I'm trying to stay married, guys. <laughs> Uh, Marcel Asuna, 211, outfielder number 23, ADP is 109, so you're looking about a 10th round value. I love this move for the Braves. Moves from St. Louis to Atlanta. He'll be inserted directly into the middle of that lineup. He'll be protected by the likes of Acuna, Albies, and Freeman. And you know what? His numbers weren't too damn bad last year to begin with. 241, 29 homers, 80 runs, 89 89 RBIs, and 12 stolen bases. Um, Here's what I like about Azuna. Over his past four seasons, he's averaged 28 homers and 94 RBIs. That's what he, I mean, so he gives you a really safe, floor. He could do a lot better, but I think you're pretty safe with high 20s and high 90s as your homer and RBI output. I like Azuna. Again, at a 10th round value, I think he's a good deal. I I totally agree. I I think he's totally getting overlooked. Um, I look for his number to move up, especially now that he's signed with Atlanta, my pal. The last guy I want to talk about, before I get off of here, I, I want to let you guys know, next time we're going to be talking about the second half of this. I'm going to move a little bit more quickly through these guys. But again, you're talking about now 24 guys that we've named here, and they've all been within, what, the top 120? The best of the best are at this position. So who's the last guy? None other, none other than Nick Castellanos. I love this guy. I've loved this guy from the beginning. 
He had 289 last year with 27 homers. I hated to see the Cubs let him go, although I knew it was coming. I love the fit at Great American Ballpark for a number of reasons. It's interesting. Um, again, the things you come across when you're when you're researching, but and I'll get to that in a second. At 27, he's had 58 doubles last year, leading the majors. He's actually had 104 over the past two. I think a lot of those doubles become homers in this new ballpark. If you think about what happened with J.D. Martinez when he left Detroit, I think you're looking for a similar thing here. I think 27 homers is criminally low. And with an ADP of 117, you're looking at a 10th to, excuse me, an 11th round draft pick. This guy's a significant steal. So there it is, guys. I've given you 24 outfielders, 24 of the best 120 game players in the game. Next time, we're going to go over this next year because there's really a lot of talent left here. There's a lot of guys we haven't talked about. But I thought it was important to slow down on these guys. Totally increased. I think it's important to slow down on these guys and talk about who we value over whom and why. Love having you guys in the chat room. Thanks, Andy, Ed, Lenny, Malpal, Kevin, Spifano. Anyone else I might have missed? I appreciate all y'all. Chaps Fantasy Chat, Tuesday nights on the Lenny Monick Fantasy Sports Network. Oh, no, Myers didn't even get close. We'll talk about him later. Probably episode three. I appreciate y'all. I thank you for your time. I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Good night. God bless.